I'm not your local bank robber. I'm also not the weed man. I'm your VFX man. Never mind that. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make some sick zoom through transitions. You can use them for zooming in things. You can use them for zooming out of things. The possibilities are endless and it will really help you level up your music video editing game. Enough talk. Let's just get straight into it, yeah? All right. Okay, guys, this is the first clip. I'm gonna be transitioning into this chain here. All right, so first, Control D, copy the clip. Then right click, go on to time, freeze frame. Now, that's gonna give you a still image of that exact frame we're on. Control Shift D to cut exactly where the next clip starts and delete the last half. So now you should have something looking like this. Looks weird, but it's all part of the process. So let's move on to the next step. All right, so now I want you to mask out where you want to be zooming into. So I want to zoom through the middle of this, so I'm gonna mask out this inner circle here. I'm gonna get back to you once I finish that. Okay guys, I've successfully masked out my inner layer. Now it's looking horrendous right now, but when you guys are doing it, make sure to put more detail into it. I'm doing this just as a quick example, so I've done it quite rough. Just make sure you put more effort into it. Okay guys, what I want you to do next is copy over this frozen frame. So you have two copies of it. Now click the drop down arrow on the bottom one, click on the drop down arrow on the masks, then the drop down arrow on mask one, from there, I want you to press inverted, right? So now what you're gonna do, you have a layer on the inner and the outer. So the outer layer is actually on the inside for me. So I'm gonna put the outer layer at the top, then rename it to outer layer. You see, this is my outer layer, but then this one is my inner layer. So I'm gonna rename that to inner layer. I don't normally label things, but to be fair, it does make a big difference. So build that habit. Okay guys, what I want you to do next is select both of these, then click this down box here. This makes it a 3D layer. So they're both 3D layers now, which means we can zoom through it. From there, I want you to right click here, new camera. Make sure it's a two node camera, otherwise you won't get the same options. Once you've made the camera layer, control shift D and just trim it down to our frozen layers where the clip ends and where it starts, yep. Yeah? This, this end bit can be anywhere, it's just make sure the end bit's right, so. Okay guys, the next step after trimming the camera layer down to these is drop down arrow, transform, point of interest and position. From there, drag this layer to the end, and since you've disabled the inner layer, you'll be able to see through. So use this tool here, the dolly tool. Very useful tool, you'll be using it a lot with these transitions. So then you can drag it into anywhere you'd like, right? Because these are 3D layers, they are moving. The reason the bottom layer isn't moving is because it's not 3D. If you wanted to, then just enable it 3D. Now, zoom through until the entire layer disappears. As you can see, that's perfect. So we'll have something looking like this now. It's looking very plain at the moment, but we'll fix that now. So first, F9. I want mine to be very speedy at the start and then slow down a little bit. So I'm gonna drag this here after you press this bit here. This is a graph editor. Make sure you're on the speed graph. Highlight these two and then bring it across. The lower it is on here, the slower it is, the higher up it is, the faster it is. And now this is how it's looking. The movement's better, but I still think I'm gonna drag it a bit more forward. So I don't like how slow that was, so I'm just gonna bring it closer. Again, you can adjust these to however long or whatever that you'd like, so you can just change that all at the end. So now let's have a look at mine. Much better. I'm gonna make it a little bit more smoother at the end so it's not completely stopping. Just about there. Let's have a look now. Okay, I'm liking that. Now make sure, add your motion blur. That'll make everything 10 times better. I don't need to explain it any more than that. Trust me, it'll make a difference. It's a lot more pleasing to the eye when you have motion blur enabled, so make sure you have that on. Okay, so now we're going to animate the inner layer. So as you can see, we've done absolutely nothing with it, so it's looking stupid. No problem, let's just fix that now. So, P, key from the position. From there, I want it coming in, let's say from down here. So I'm gonna bring it underneath here like this. And as you can see, with my layer, 
for some reason, it's all the way on the top. Now the way to fix that, since these are 3D layers, they're both on the same level of the Z plane, right? So I'm gonna change my Z plane down here, the third one, to 0 0.1, and that brings it behind, yeah? So then you'll have something looking like this. Now your clip is gonna look completely different to mine. I'm just gonna tweak mine now. You tweak yours to however you want it to look. Okay guys, ended up tweaking mine. I just made this a bit shorter. I kept that the same. So let's have a final look at it. Bang on, that's exactly how I wanted it to look for this little tutorial. Again, this is very big beginner friendly, right? It's very basic. So if you guys want me to expand into a more advanced version of this, then be sure to let me know down in the comments and we can move on to that. But for now, that's looking okay. Also, if there's anything you guys wanna see next on the channel, any types, any sorts of edits that you want me to cover, yeah? Make sure you shout me in the comments. I'll be sure to take a look. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Safe.